What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another collection video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some more CDs for my CD collection. Let's get right into this. So like I've mentioned in a recent video, I've been going to a store that is in the mall that is close to my girlfriend's house called Sunrise Records. So they have great selections, so I've been going there a lot more. And that's why I'm able to find what I'm looking for to grow my CD collection. So today is a combination of ones that I found at that location, at Walmart, and also on online stores. So up first is a Canadian artist, and I absolutely love this rapper. I loved him ever since I was in high school. He's amazing. And that is Classified, and the album is Tomorrow Could Be The Day Things Change. This album here was released in 2018, but for some reason, I never purchased it. I purchased his last two albums shortly after they came out. But this one here, it is 2020 now, and I've just purchased it. For me, this is an amazing album. He talks a lot of different struggles and different stuff within the Native American culture that is in not only his community, but also all across Canada. And I can definitely relate to a lot of stuff and a lot of the messages he does say. A lot of the songs are amazing. His flow is great. And for me, he is a great artist. And I absolutely love him. So this is the first album. I actually purchased this from his online store because I was not able to find this at the record store, Sunrise Records, or in Walmart for the longest time. So I decided to bite the bullet and order straight from Classified's online store. Next is one that I actually purchased from Sunrise Records, and that is Green Day's newest album, and that is Father of All. Now, for some reason, this album just missed my radar. I did not realize this one came out in February 2020. For some reason, I got it in March 2020, and I just happened to see it at the record store and then look it up online on my phone and realize that this just came out, and for some reason, I just didn't even know about it. It's an okay Green Day album. I liked their previous album, which was their greatest hits album. And at the end of that album, there is one new song. I absolutely loved that greatest hits album. It's their best work. This one here, some of the songs sound very similar. Some of the songs are okay. It's still a great Green Day album. It's just honestly not what I was expecting from Green Day because some of the songs just do not sound like Green Day, but maybe that's just my opinion. But I was happy to add that to my collection because I do have a few Green Day CDs. Next up, I also picked this one up at Sunrise Records, and that is a Tupac album. And now I have been looking for other Tupac albums, but for me, they're really hard to find. I just can't seem to find them anywhere unless I want to pay a lot of money online and pay for them to be shipped to me. But this album here is Me Against the World. And the main reason I picked up this album is because it has the song Dear Mama on it. And I absolutely love that song. That song is very emotional. A lot of the songs on this are amazing. It's just, I just happened to turn it over, see that song, and I knew it was going to be a great album. So that's why I purchased it. Tupac is one of the greatest of all time. I do have one album. It's a two disc uh, CD. I can't remember the name of it for some reason, but I have that one. So now I have a second Tupac album, which is great. And from what I could tell on the back of this, it came out in 1995. And the last one is one that has been on my list for about two, maybe three years now, ever since I started to really get into collecting and adding CDs and albums to my CD collection. And that is Queen's Greatest hits and I purposely was looking for the purple cover because it has such a great list of songs I don't know if you guys can really tell there but it has some of their best work now I believe there is other greatest hits album that Queen did release but for some reason the purple one the purple cover with the gold lettering is the one that I was looking for it's the one that interests me the most based on the songs so that's the one I decided to get this one here I actually found at Walmart's and I was going to wait to get it, but my girlfriend decided to purchase it for me and give it to me because she is just that amazing. So this is a great album. I was happy to find it because I've been looking for it for a while. About two or three years ago, I did find it at Walmart, but I've never seen it since. 
and I never got to see it in Sunrise Records. Maybe it's something that's tricky to find. I'm not sure, but I'm glad I was able to add this to my CD collection. So these are my most recent additions to my CD collection. I've been slowly growing it throughout 2020 now that I've found Sunrise Records, so I'm really thankful for that. And I absolutely love collecting. As you guys know, I not only collect CDs, I collect comics, but I haven't added anything new to that collection in a while. I collect hockey cards, which I do that mainly, and also video games because I am a huge gamer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go and check my other collection videos if something else interests you. And if you leave this video here, please take care. Peace.